What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to a modern nation. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Fleur One Pro thermal imaging camera. Now this camera attaches to your smartphone and allows you to take thermal imaging pictures or video. Today we're going to find out if this cell phone accessory is hot or not. <laughs> You know what, I guess that joke was funnier in my head than it was out loud. So I had never actually heard of thermal imaging cameras that attach to your smartphone before. It wasn't until I saw a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, Electroboom. He did a video using the Seek thermal imaging camera, which is very similar to the Fleur One. And he showed that in fact, infrared sensing cameras are actually useful and have many different applications. So I thought, well, why not pick up one of these and try it out? Sure, let's give it a shot. So here we've got the Fleur One Pro. Uh, it's by Fleur. This one is specific to, this one is specific to Android. Okay, on the side it says what's in the box. This is pretty much what you get. You get a case, USB cable, something in another language. So what is this product for? For quickly diagnosing issues, measure multiple heat spots at once. Comes with uh, something called meter link device compatibility and you can generate professional reports. So this is the pro edition. So uh, maybe this is not designed maybe for home consumers. Maybe this is developed more for say contractors or people that do professional work. On the back, uh, wow, that house, that house might be on fire. See the heat, solve the problem. Well, if your house is this hot, maybe you should get out. Just a thought. Spot problems faster and work smarter with crisp thermal imaging and powerful measurement reporting tools on board. Okay, nothing on top. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the box. This is the first time I've opened this. So there it is, uh, nothing too fancy. Um, we do have the seal right here, and it says, I don't know if you can see that, it says Android. So this one is specifically made for the Android. If you have an iPhone, you're going to want to go with the iPhone model. We're going to have to cut this. Hold on a second. Okay, so it says Fleur right here. We went ahead and we cut the little plastic here. So now you can just pull this off. It's magnetic. See the heat. I think you'll feel it before you see it, but uh, you know, I understand that's marketing. Boom, there it is. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. It actually looks a lot nicer in person than it does in the photos. Um, it's, uh, it's all plastic design, has a little bit of weight to it. Uh, actually, no, this back part is metal. It's some kind of metal there, it feels like metal. Okay, so first thing you're gonna notice is that there's two lenses. This first one here is gonna be your standard camera lens, and the second one is your infrared. The thing that caught my eye first is this little blue dial. What that does is that retracts and extends the USB Type-C connector. Let's say the connector is really short. Like, let's say you're just plugging your phone directly in. You can make it short. However, what they realized is that people aren't running around with bare phones. They've got cases on them, and the cases add a little bit of length. So now you can extend it. And there you go. If you've got a really thick case, like one of those um, OtterBox ones that's uh, heavy duty. Um, nothing on the back. Let's see what it says here. Fleur Pro for Android. It's got the part number rating, five volt, 1.07 amps. And there's a QR code on there. Don't know what that's for. Anybody watching this video, you go ahead and scan the QR code. I don't know what that does. Let me know what it does. So on the bottom, we've got our power indicator switch, which lets us know. Um, nothing's happening there. And then we've got a part where you plug in the USB Type-C. Well, I've talked a lot about the device. Let's see what other accessories. I'm gonna set this aside. So this is what was on top, said so see the heat. What does this say? This is your quick start guide. Um, this is a thank you. So thank you for buying the camera. Thank you for sending us your money. We really appreciate it. 
Uh, we hope you enjoy this tiny little device. Please don't lose it. No, you can actually read what the note says there. Uh, it comes from Vice President and General Manager uh, Frank Panessi. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Maybe I got it wrong. Uh, this is another piece of paper. Notice, please read and take note. Nope, don't care. Uh, quick start guide. All right. So you are going to need the FLIR 1 app. So that's where to get it from. United States limited warranty, blah, blah, blah. If you don't speak English, they got you covered, fam. All right, we'll see what else is in the box. Focus back in here. It comes off. Oh, we got some small boxes inside here. Okay. All right, so here is our USB Type-C mail connector. So it's a USB Type-C to USB 2.0. And then what's here? Ooh, is this a carrying? This looks like a carrying case. Wow. This is a hard shell case. It feels really good. You can see right there it says FLIR. Go ahead and unzip it. All right, so you got a nice little traveling case. Go ahead and just stick the device in there like so you can put uh, put your charging cable some shit I don't know stick your charging cable in there like that you're good to go just zip it up Pretty nice. Okay, so now looking at the FLIR device, one thing that you'll notice is that this is a USB Type-C. So this is gonna work with phones that only support Type-C connectors. Uh, phones like the OnePlus 5 that I have here, but it's not gonna work with older phones that don't support um, USB Type-C. Like here is the, um, I've even forgotten what this phone is. Oh my goodness. This is the Nexus 5. So the Nexus 5, for example, has a micro USB. So phones like the Nexus 5 that have a micro USB, it's not going to work. It's just simply not going to go in there. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Uh, you don't want to plug it in this way, even though Type-C supports it. You want to do it with the camera facing away from you. Okay, so now we got a fit. Uh, so we're going to start the FLIR1 app, and it should detect the camera. Let's see, maybe I have to hit the power button? Huh, maybe it's dead, maybe it needs to be charged. So when we hit camera, it's please attach it and turn it on. So it's, it's attached, but it's not, not turning on. So it looks like out of the box, it doesn't work. We need to uh, first charge our device uh, before we begin using it. So I'm gonna come back. Been charging now for about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and unplug. Okay, there we go. And then we'll shorten it. So now it's close. Open Flare One when USB device is connected, yes. Okay, we've got this end user agreement. Okay. Please log in to Flare account. All right, so we have to create a Flare account. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, so now that we've logged in, it looks something like this. It's saying we've got some device actions up here. We've got some image settings down here. Okay, um, and now we can measure some hot stuff. All right, so now I'm recording with the microphone and we're looking at how hot things are. Looks like there's a little bit of heat in, that's a battery, backup battery. Uh, screens are super hot, especially around the sides there. That's where the uh, edges are bleeding. Let's see, let's take a look at, here's the soft box. We'll step back for a second. So you can see all of the heat. I can actually like stick my hand out here. You can see all the heat right here. And then there's heat along the top of the soft box. Uh, whereas down here towards the bottom, you don't see as much heat. Uh, let's see, same goes with this one. Looks like most of the heat is at the light source over here and uh, it starts to dissipate. 
So you want to look for the, the bright white or yellow is going to be the hottest portion. And then as we get to like the purples, the deep purples, great band, by the way, you get to deep purple, it is going to be cooler. Um, so, yeah. So this is what the app looks like uh, most of the time. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, you've got a whole host of features on the side that I have yet to explore, but you'll get the chance to see it when I do a full review. Uh, so far, it's uh, pretty cool. We'll find out how useful it is. So thanks for checking out my unboxing and first impressions of the FLIR One Pro thermal imaging camera. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and share the video. Join the modern nation and get subscribed today by clicking on the subscribe button below. And when you do that, make sure you click on the bell icon inside of the subscribe button to get notified the moment that I release new YouTube videos. It's been a couple weeks since I've released new videos. I've been incredibly busy. I apologize guys, but I'm going to have more videos coming out soon. In fact, uh, don't be surprised if after I do a review of this, you see another very important video coming that should answer some of the questions that some of you may have had about another particular project. Yeah, I know that was really cryptic, wasn't it? If you have any other questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comments section below. And as always, you can reach me by social media. I'm available via Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can catch me streaming video games every weekend on YouTube and Twitch. On Friday nights, I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. And on Saturdays, I stream with Filthy Icon uh, exclusively on Twitch. Check the timing to my right to find out what my current schedule is. And when you purchase products from Amazon, consider using my affiliate code. The link can be found in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. Stay tuned for a full review of the Fleur One Pro. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.